today is what they call Bridge Day, a multi-state, multi-agency effort aimed to help those who are struggling with substance addiction. WLWT News Size Meredith Stutt spoke with one group out of Claremont County saying positive results in part thanks to who is on its team. Meredith. Yeah, this is really powerful. It was a great opportunity to get to observe their work in real time. So this group of people in Claremont County is known as a quick response team or QRT. And since 2017, this partnership between law enforcement and behavioral health staff works to reach people in active addiction, going door to door even. But Claremont County's QRT team comes with a bit of history. Take a look. So they tell us that that is the first in the state to use peer coaches. They are people in active recovery who have shared experiences with the same people that they're trying to help. We work with Greater Cincinnati Behavior Health to follow a team with a peer coach and Union Township firefighter. They showed us how to check on people multiple times a week who have potentially suffered an overdose or have some sort of substance abuse potential. Those same people sign a form if they want to saying that they want this kind of help, a newer strategy known as deflection. Deflecting people away from the criminal justice system and into the behavioral health or the treatment system. So the, the, what's helpful about that is, you know, when, when people get wrapped up in the criminal justice system, they get charges which can impact their life. So it just makes their situation worse. So, you know, the important part is to try to, I mean, it's not a crime, right, to have an addiction. Um, and so they really need to be in treatment to get help to get better. Today, by the way, also Bridge Day in Ohio, focusing on outreach like this in all 88 counties in the state. Now, Watson says about half of the people that QRT approaches choose to move forward in recovery there in Claremont County. Coming up the next half hour, you're going to hear from the peer coach who you saw in the blue T-shirt who says that being part of that team gives her a second chance at life. Meredith Stats, WLWT News 5. A statewide effort across Ohio is focusing on the current state of addiction. The goal of Bridge Day is to bring agencies and resources together to help those with addiction. One team in our region does this year round going door to door to help those directly impacted. And WLWT News 5's Meredith Stutz spoke with members of this team in Claremont County and their strategy focused on treating the problem outside the courtroom. Yes, today is called Bridge Day because of the partnerships with law enforcement and those in behavioral health. These quick response teams, or QRTs, well, they're all over the state, but Claremont County's is special. It tells us that it is the first in the state to use peer coaches. Those are people who are in active recovery, who have shared experiences with the very same people they're trying to help. We worked with Greater Cincinnati Behavioral Health Services to follow a team with a peer coach named Christy Mudd and Union Township Firefighter Paramedic Scott Musselman. Now, Mudd was in addiction for nearly 25 years. She's now clean and been a quick response team coach for seven years. She says the goal is to get people with addiction out of the criminal justice system and into treatment and learning more lessons for more people as well. We're also able to show our first responders here in Claremont County that recovery is possible. They're seeing a whole other side of folks that they never got to see before, you know, and if no one would have given me a second chance, you know, I, would, I wouldn't be standing here today. So I like to take that and share that with folks to let them know like, hey, again, I'm living proof it's possible. Mudd says that she also coaches people in Miami Township and out in the general Claremont County area with the sheriff's office. The team says that they do follow up with people regularly to make sure that they don't feel alone and have the resources they need. Meredith Stutz, WLWT News 5. 